All right, guys, Land Run 89 here with a 6.5 Grindle build. Uh, the reason I built this 6.5 Grindle, I, I, we hunt, we guide pigs at night uh, using lasers and night visions and stuff. And you don't always get a real accurate shot with the 223 or the 7.62 by 39. And I'll kind of tell you why the difference is between all the three at night. Uh, using a laser with a 762 by 39 it's if you have your like your laser on at 100 yards your trajectory of your bullet changes quite a bit with that with that heavier slower bullet of the of the 762 by 39 um, you know from 80 yards to 300 yards that laser is going to either shoot low or real high um, could be up to a foot off at any point. So that was kind of, I have a 7.62 by 39 upper. That was kind of the reason I built this to see if that wouldn't mitigate that laser, um, you know, shooting over or under on the, on the laser stuff. But it wasn't too bad of a deal. It's just, uh, you know, when you're, when you're guiding, you want your guys to kill the pigs. Um, 2.23 wasn't doing it. 7.62 or 7.62 is killing the pigs, but it, it we always had a lot of misses as well. And I think that was due to the the uh, like rainbow pass of the 7.62 by 39. The trajectory of the 6.5 Grendel is a lot flatter, um, so that should quell that a little bit. Um, this was a monster build, <laughs> like monster garage build. It took me six different companies. Classic firearms had $39 lowers. They are mag tactical magnesium lowers. Um, so they're a third lighter. The upper uh, was $29 for a stripped upper. I got the buffer, uh, an $18 complete buffer kit, spring buffer and buffer tube, and the barrel for all, all for less than 200 bucks. So most of the gun was $200. Uh, then I used primary arms, Palmetto State, um, and Black Rifle Armory, and that's where I got my bolt, was the Black Army or Arm, Black Rifle Armory. Um, so anyways, I built this gun for 520 bucks. Nice, cheap little pistol, or rifle build. One of the main reasons I like this is they make wolf ammo for it. And it's just as cheap as all the other wolf ammo, if not cheaper. So that's cool. Um, also, all the other companies that make Hornady, I mean, you can find ammo is available for this round. The one of the things I was going to kind of tell you about building a 6.5 Grendel is I would stick with building a Type 2 barrel and bolt. Um, I wouldn't mess with the Type 1s because uh, there was a lot of like this, they would use the 762 by 39 bolt, and the head spacing on it was kind of hit or miss. There was like three or four companies doing three or four different things with it, um, and there was a lot of, you know, hard to find information on what barrel or what bolts would work with what barrels. So stick with the Type 2, um, and you'll be okay on that. Still may want to head space your everything. Um, I always do, so just double check that. I know it's expensive to buy a headspace for a tool you're going to use once, but uh, beats blowing your hands off. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to show you a couple tips on building a lower real quick. And if I can find my tools. Yeah, I must have threw them in the trash. Anyways, I use a toothpick um, to slide into this bolt or this roll pin hole I'll put all that stuff in there and then I'll slide a toothpick in there and cut it cut it off on the side and that holds everything together um, so you can reach your you know stick your your roll pin starter in there without having to hold this down as you're doing it um, that's one quick tip that I haven't seen on the internet I'm sure you and you can also use just a regular punch to do that you can slide your punch in and then on the other side with your roll pin uh, starter punch. They, a starter punch has a little hole in the bottom of it that you can slide your roll pin in and it holds it. It's kind of magnetic. 
and it allows you to free up your hands from you don't have to hold the actual punt or roll pin. The other uh, tip, real quick, is the use of a razor blade when you are installing your detent and detent spring on the front takedown pin. Um, you can hold, you can push your detent and your spring down with the razor blade and hold it down as you drop your pin in and then you just slide it out of the way. That saves you a lot of time on losing springs and detent and stuff. But anyways, that's kind of just a quick update on my 6.5 Grendel build. Um, they're starting to come down in price on if you're going to build your own. One of the you know people are like it's cheaper to build or it's cheaper to buy one already built and it depends on how many you're going to buy and how or how many you're going to build really um, you can buy the this whole kit right here the upper vice block and the magwell block and your armor's wrench for like 29 bucks uh, I always keep a set of Oh, needle nose, curved needle nose, and a regular set of needle nose around. And you'll need a torque wrench and a couple, of, depends on what barrel you're putting on and how you're doing it, you'll need some specialty tools for that, um, like a crow's foot wrench if you're doing a free float. Or um, just just know that you're there's going to be a cost involved. You need a vise. Um, but if you're going to build five or six ARs, I would definitely say it's way cheaper to go and buy the tools as opposed to spending the extra hundred bucks every time. But anyways, another thing, guys, why I got you here, 22 ammo is now readily available almost everywhere. If you guys haven't noticed that, um, my gun shop had cases and cases of it different types of stuff uh, Academy had it the other day even Walmart had some so uh, if you're needing some 22 long rifle now's the time to check it out thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe have a good one